Hey, welcome back everybody in YouTube land. Do you have a fan or light in your house that has these stupid little bulbs on them? They don't put out enough light to do nothing. Well, I'm going to change these out with regular size bulbs. So these holders for, with regular size bulbs. So I'm going to bring you along. So if you have this issue, and the reason they did this is they didn't want the heat from the incandescent bulbs to burn up stuff. So they went with these small bulbs. Well, now we got LEDs, we got all these other ones, no heat coming out. This we don't need no more. So we're going to take this all off. And uh, pull this down. And you got to get that off of there. Um, see here, we got this here, here, and here, and I, I th I'm not sure what's up in here, we're going to find out, and I'll bring you along. Okay, there it was. I just pulled those off up there, and this whole thing come down. You got nice little things here, just unclip it, and then we'll go take it in there, and we can work on it. All right, here we are. This is, we got it all off here, sitting here, and what we got to do... Take this, snip that off of there. Uh, see all these down in here? We need to pull those out. And I gotta get to these screws. And as you can see here, I had to break this one to get to it because they just don't like to get to it. And the screwdriver, screwdriver don't work very good. Man. Let me go check. I'm gonna check on a different screwdriver here. I'll be back. All right, you gotta find the right screwdriver to fit these. These are like cheap. Some of them look like none of them worked. I have ones that are four china stuff that worked. Yeah. yeah, that one about worked. This is one from for China. It, it worked the number two, but it's for China. All right, well, you pull that off of there. And I need to go through and take all these off. So you stick the screwdriver down in there. If you can do it without breaking it all to pieces, great, because it makes a mess. Like I think I, I got this one on the go. I'll tell you what I'm gonna make things either. See here's where all they all come together. I am going to go ahead and try to release that. But well, you can see where that's been crimped. I'm trying to crimp it back. It was before and I don't know if it's gonna work or not. But I'm gonna see if I can pull up pull those wires out. All right, don't want to cooperate, so this is what you do. You just go in here and cut it off. Then I know it'll come out. Just cut it off. There, then you know they're going to come off. And look, it still don't want to come off. Boy, they put them in there tight, good and tight. Just cut them all the way down here. on this one Let's see if it's moving don't know what it is we're gonna bust it out can't tell if it's moving or not bust it out so you can get to it and get on it Really put the pressure on it and unscrew them. There we go. Got 
wipe that one off. Move all that junk out of the way there. Cut this one off. Same thing. Pull this one off. It's coming. That's good. I actually got one off without breaking it. Look at that. Okay. There we go. We got those all set aside. Now, this is what I got. Got a Lowe's there. And see, it has almost the same kind of setup as that is. Um, you could go in here, but that ain't going to work because this will be in the way. It has to be turned to be able to work, to be able to do the job. So. We're going to pull this out of here. Hopefully those aren't as big as pain as those last ones, huh? There we go. Yeah, they're pulling. So unscrew it. Well, a lot easier. Oh yeah. You're gonna like that. Do the other side. Right here. It was down in here, so then we're going to put this back down in there. Put that screw in there. And we're going to screw it right onto this one where that one was, where the old ones was. See that? Screw it right in there. All right, further inspection. I should have cut the leave all this in there. Now, if you're doing this, just cut these wires. Here, pull this out of here. And I should just cut all these wires here. And left those connected. So, if you're doing this, you can learn from that and don't do that. Because these could have stayed in here where they need to be. And I, breathe and see, I'm just gonna put these in here. Do, do. So I could have cut them out, leave them there. Well, there you go. Now we're going to, I got one more to do here. Working out pretty good. Uh, these are coming off very good out of here. You can see down there in the screw. We got two, we got one there, one there. They come out real nice, just like they should. Which I would think the other ones are, but they, I think they're cheaper, I don't know. These work really better. All right, so we'll pull this out. Okay, so I leave the one in there. See the one right there? And that's the one. I don't know if you can see this on the other ones, but I'm gonna try to show you on this one. This will go right into here. And my hand right away in it. Okay. See it there? We need to screw that right into there. See how it kind of fits in there? Tighten it down. Make sure it's in these grooves here. You can see that? And just tighten it down. There you go. So you're only going to use one screw. It comes with your know, head on. This thing had two, but you want to use one. Well, there you go. See, now it's all set up. It's going the same way the other ones were. Now, it would have been easier if I would have showed you the right way and uh, not cut all these wires. So, I'll show you what we're going to do. Here. So, I've got to strip these. Them. Okay. And these are going to go. Let me get you down here so you can 
can see that right here. So since this turns, loosen it up a little bit. And see, they got gold and they got silver. You don't have to put this on the, the white one here and the one there. You don't have to do that, but because it don't matter. The light bulb don't, don't care where it's power coming from. You don't care what end of it, as long as it does a connection. So there we go. Put this around. Whoops. Didn't do that together a little better. Put that around there. Right there. Tighten it down. And it made a mess out of it, didn't it? I didn't twist these up enough. Now there's probably an electrician out there saying, that's all wrong. And he's probably right. But this is the way we're doing it today. And if you have a better way, I would love to know it. So you can leave it in the comments. Now you too, you might be saying, why are you going through all that trouble? Isn't it cheaper just to go get a new fan? You're probably tired of looking at that fan anyway. Yeah, that's true. You could. But maybe it's a fan you like. You just want some more light. Well, here's a fix for it. All right. Got that one in there. And this one up here. Make sure those are twisted good. So. All right. Got that one on there. Tighten it up. Not too tight that you break it. Tight enough that it won't come off. All right. Now we're gonna send this back through the hole. And first of all, we wanna run this heat shield. Run that heat shield back down there. There you go. Just push that under there. Okay, and then look through there, make sure nothing's touching ground, nothing's touching each other. And that one's good to go. All right, well, I'm gonna save you the boring of seeing the rest of it, and I'm just gonna do the rest of them, and then I'll bring you back on. All right, there it is, all complete, all in there. And it's in the corner, so it's got this heat shrink down. Double check that, make sure everything's connected. Make sure they're not touching. Like this one over here, looks like it could be touching almost. There we go. Make sure it's not touching nothing. Over here, and I got another one. I got one more to do. All right, now I got them all complete. Now the wire's in, got this pushed in there, made sure nothing was where it's going to uh, touch. Triple breaker there. Now we're gonna come in here and get all the whites. See, so twist them around here, put all the whites together. We're going to put all the whites together and then all the blacks. Pretty simple, huh? All the whites together, all the blacks together. Now, if you don't feel comfortable with working with electricity, I suggest that you get a professional or find somebody that can because you don't want to be messing stuff up because you're not familiar with it or wanting to do that so you might as well just get somebody else or just get a new fan I guess if you want to do that but if you have done it before and you know this might hopefully this gives you an idea of how 
how you can do it. Okay, I gotta strip this. And now all the blocks go together. Those are short, it can be a little challenging. I'm gonna to try to get rid of this one. If you can, push that one down, the other wire nut that you just got done with. If you can push it down in there and get it out of your way, it'll work for it. That's a lot easier. That's working for me a lot better. And we got the one here coming from the switch. Uh, the, the, the hot, which is the black one, is the one that they you switch off and on. The ground, not the ground, I'm sorry, the Neutral, which is the white, is the one that just gets put together. So they switch. When they switch it, they switch to black. All right. Now we can stuff that down in there. Now you want to take a good look at it. Got that all in there. You want to take a good look at it. Make sure everything's... Like here, this one here is a little loose. This here, this black, this one here, you can see how it's kind of loose right there. Well, the camera's picking that up or not, but there ain't much holding that on. So let's um, regroup that one. I'm going to put it back in there and try to wind it around there. Try to work that around. Make sure I don't hit the white, but there you go. Got that too twisted in there a little better. I don't know if you can see that or not. We're going to tighten that back down. That's better. Not too tight, remember. All right, I think everything looks good. Nothing seems to be a problem there. Let's share my knee a little bit. All right, well, now what we're going to do is these little screws here go in here, and I took these out, and I don't know if I have them here, what I did with them. I think I might have left them in the other room. Okay, well, we'll get her, bring her back on, we'll get her hooked up. All right, now we're going to hook her back up here. This is pretty explanatory. Black goes to black. Just slip right in there. Easy, easy do. Okay, make sure all this stuff is up in there. What this up here? Oh, it's right here. Put the little screw in. Lost it. Let's try this again. I lost one of the screws. Oh, let me pause here. I gotta find it. Okay, got the three screws in there. Now let's put the bulbs in. Nice, the big ones, not the little bee dummies. Now let's see how much light that puts in you. Wow, much better. Much better, let me run you down.
Oops, wrong way. Well, there it is. And then you just uh, you put this all back up and ready to go. So hopefully I help somebody and uh, get some more light on the subject and not have to use those stupid little bulbs. Well, I hope this uh, does help you. And hey, subscribe, push the bell, get notifications. Always going to have something to do. I find something that I think is neat that might help somebody. I'll put it on here. Everybody, take care. Thanks for watching. Now, I know what some of you were thinking. Are those big bulbs going to fit into that? And as you can see here, yes, they do. They fit in there just fine, not touching nothing. All right, everybody. Take care.